it's Marty again from I Did It, and today we're going to talk to you about wiring. A lot of people are really afraid of wiring, they don't understand it, they're afraid they'll do something wrong and they'll burn something up. So we're going to go through what each one of the wires does in one of our steering columns, make it very plain, very simple, and at the end show you a little bit of tech too. Okay, here we have an I Did It steering column, we have one of the turn signal switches out of our column. It's a standard issue GM switch, they started using them in 1969 and essentially used the same switch for the next 25 years. There were some minor changes, but for the most part that was it. Uh, we have two plugs here. We use the shorter 3 and 7 eighths plug, and then there's the longer 4 and a quarter plug. We use that in a couple of applications, but for our purposes here today, we're going to talk about the shorter 3 and 7 eighths plug. If you look at the bottom of the plug, I think you can see there's some letters along the bottom there. And those letters correspond with each wire, and we're going to go through each one to show you where they go and what they do. And uh, let's start with a white wire. Okay, here's our white wire. The white wire goes into terminal P on the plug. That comes from the hot side of the brake light switch. The reason for this is you want the turn signals to override when you have your foot on the brake. That way that guy behind you knows if you're turning left or right. Next wire is the green one. Green goes into terminal N and that is feeding power out to the right rear turn signal bulb yellow wire goes into terminal M and that is feeding power out to the left rear turn signal. Keep in mind that both the yellow and green wire also provide power to your brake lights. Okay, purple wire is next. Purple goes into terminal L. This is a 12 volt feed usually from your fuse panel and it's feeding power to the turn signal switch. Uh, this is going to come off of a switch lead. If you don't have a fuse panel, you don't want to have the turn signals working with the car off. You only want them to work when the key is on, and it needs to run through a flasher. If you've got an aftermarket wiring kit, almost everyone out there in the market that I'm aware of will have a terminal that that one goes to, and it has the flasher already built in, so you're good to go. The brown wire goes to terminal K. If you want to have four-way flashers, you need to have the brown wire hooked up. That is your four-way flasher feed into the switch. Uh, that would normally be off of a constant hot source because you want the four-way flashers to work whether the car is on or not. Okay, we go to the darker blue wire. You've got two blues. This is the dark one, and that is going off of terminal J, and that is feeding your right front turn signal. The lighter blue wire on terminal H feeds your left front turn signal. Both blue wires also provide power to your turn signal dash indicators. And lastly, you have the black wire. The black wire is on terminal G. That is for the horn, and unlike all the other wires, there is no power being fed to that wire for the horn. It's strictly a ground. GM horn systems work off of a ground with a horn relay. Again, if you have an aftermarket wiring system, you probably have that horn relay already on your panel. If not, you need to make sure and get one. If you accidentally feed power to that wire, you're frying the spring inside that switch and you've had a bad day because now you've got to replace that switch. That pretty much takes care of our wires. We'll do a little bit of basic tech on these for you now just to help you uh, figure out if there is an issue or not with our switch or if it's elsewhere within the column. Okay, let's say you're having a problem with your turn signal switch. There's a very simple test to determine if that is a problem within the column or if it's somewhere else in your car. Take a test light. If you put 12 volts to the purple wire, and remember that's terminal L on your plug, if you turn on your left turn signals, you'll have power to the light blue wire and the yellow wire. If you switch over to the right turn signals, you should have power to the darker blue and the green wire. If those all work okay and you have power to those wires, then everything in the column is doing what it's supposed to do and you need to look elsewhere in your wiring on your car. If it's not doing what it's supposed to do, please give us a call so we can help you. Now let's take a look at the horn wiring. Okay, what to check if your horn's not working? Remember the black wire is for the horn and that's on terminal G on your plug. It's a very, very simple test. You just use a continuity tester and you go from that terminal to down inside the column. This piece right here is called the horn cam and down inside this tube is where your horn contact is. There's a brass piece in there. You just do a continuity test from the G terminal to here. If you've got continuity, everything is fine inside the column for the horn. You need to look someplace else. 